welcome back guys into the channel and welcome back to more red dead redemption 2 having a lot of fun with this game so far man thank you guys as always for joining me as you see here we find ourselves kind of a little bit on the uh on the outskirts if you guys missed that last part we did end it with a complete bang by uh <laughs> By going ahead and shooting down some Lemoyne Raiders that were uh, causing us problems, you know? We didn't really like the way they were talking to us, so we had to uh, we had to do a little something about that. Hold on, my horse is acting nuts right now. Hold on, buddy. He does not like the country. <laughs> I think I have a city horse here. I can't believe this horse still acts this way, you know, after all this time. Go ahead and give him a brush. Let him know, you know, everything's all right. Everything's okay, buddy. And we're going to hop on him. It is kind of interesting, like, in this game. So, in Valentine, it was the O'Driscolls that are kind of the most, uh, kind of a rival gang. And then since we came to this new camp over here by Rhodes, it seems like the Lemoyne Raiders are going to be the next rival gang that we kind of have to fight here and there, you know, which is, uh... Which is interesting, you know, we haven't seen an O'Driscoll in quite the while, and I don't know if we are going to be seeing any more of them, to be completely honest. I have no idea. <laughs> but so far, things have been going smooth here in this new area, kind of. I mean, I guess you could say they've been going smooth, but they really haven't. Hey, That's one nice looking horse you got there. Oh, boy. How about we see how fast it is? Oh, we're going to do this? Jackson's. All right. Oh, why not? Ready? Let's go. Put this horse to the test, huh? <laughs> okay, that was like the most random thing ever, but we are going to dust this lady. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. She took a shortcut. Bro, that is so cheating. You've got to be kidding me with this. Will you clear out? Clear out? We're racing here, bud. There ain't no clearing out going on here, buddy. That was actually refreshing to see someone kind of come up to us because I feel like since we got to this new camp, there haven't been really, like, many strangers or anything like that. Oh, my goodness. I am so sorry, little fella. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Oh, my goodness. I feel so bad. Nothing to see here, buddy. You know, just a little horse race going on, you know? Easy, boy. Come on, baby. We got to get this. How far away are we going? Oh, my Lord. I did not know we were going to be, like, doing a marathon of a race here. <laughs> Hopefully, this will lead us to some more strangers, though. That's kind of, uh, kind of the hope at this point. Surprised I won, honestly. She gonna say anything else or no? Damn horse acting up on me of all the times. <sighs> yeah, go ahead, blame the horse. Blame the horse if you must. <laughs> I guess it is kind of the horse's problem. I mean, the horse did lose the race, but I don't know. Maybe with the better ah. jockey, could have uh, could have done a little better, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I don't think we've kind of been in this area at all. Oh my goodness, bro! Why does it say there's an enemy on my map? We are not trying to get involved in any of that right now. We have caused enough problems at this new camp, honestly. Sadie Adler was a big reason of that. <laughs> I gotta be honest, but. Arthur said he wouldn't tell Dutch, so we got Sadie's back. But I think for this episode, I do want to uh, go to the Greys. Hosea mentioned on the uh, on the last part that we should go see the Greys and kind of figure out what the dynamic is there and try to learn more about them. We do know about the Greys and the Braithwaites. I haven't had anything come up on my screen yet about the Braithwaites, so... I don't know if we're going to be involved with them or if it's just going to be the Greys, but we're going to see what's going on with the Greys here and hopefully see if maybe uh, maybe we could get some information maybe to uh, rob them. I mean, they have a massive tobacco field here, so 
I feel like robbing him would uh would be Dutch's game plan. I hope it's okay that I come in here. I have no idea if it is or not, but we're gonna find out, right? All right, we got two armed gentlemen at the entrance here. All right, that's uh, a little sketchy. What do you want, boy? This here the gray plantation? Yep, Gallagher Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Wow, it's like that? I'm just here to be a friend. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. All right, ask around at Caliga Hall. Find out more about the Greys. I probably said that completely wrong. Caliga, Caliga, who knows? You might be our dumbest deputy yet. <laughs> All right, let's ask this uh, this person over here if he knows anything. Hold on. Got him. He's just out here with the broomstick. They got him doing chores. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and... Uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. All right, Master Bo. I guess I just leave my horse here. I don't really want to... You know, be riding my horse across their lawn and everything. I feel like that might be uh might be a little disrespectful, you know? <laughs> so let's not do that. Let's see where this gentleman is. BG. Hold on, I think I see somebody over here. I think this is the guy that was at the uh police station when we kind of rescued Trelawney. This kinda looks like that guy. I don't know if it's the same guy or not, but kinda looks like him. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. How about that? Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm oh sorry my lord. for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, All right, then. Case. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. All right, I guess we got to take Penelope a letter. <laughs> when we got to sneak into the grounds around Braithwaite Banner. Oh, my goodness. How are we going to sneak into the grounds? Oh, Lord. And why is my horse all the way over there? Hold on a minute. We got to eat something. Our, uh, our health core is extremely low. That didn't do much either. You know what? I really should go back to the camp at some point and... Um, <laughs> get some uh get some of the stew i haven't had the stew in a while but i tell you what i've been the only one bringing the uh the animals for the stew i'll tell you that all right he said good luck i already have a bad feeling about this <laughs> oh my goodness man i love this game so much i can't even put into words to you guys how much i love this game it has definitely been probably one of my favorite playthroughs I've ever done on the channel, man. I mean, the two Last of Us games were 
just amazing. But this yeah. game has been just as good, if not better, you know? <laughs> We're only in chapter three, and there's six chapters. So there's a lot to go. But so far, everything in this game has just been outstanding, you know? We haven't even got a look at Braithwaite Manor yet, I do not believe. So this should actually be be interesting. Can I even come through here? He said sneak in here. I don't know. Probably a bad idea. Unless that's not even it. Okay, that's not even it. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm an idiot, you know? So the fact that the Greys and the Braithwaites are kind of... Uh, at odds with each other. It would make sense that uh, he's not allowed to talk to Penelope, you know, being that he's a Grey and she's a Braithwaite, but we got a little love story going on here. It's like forbidden love, you know? <laughs> Which is the best kind of love, I suppose. Sneak past the guards, bro. I don't even see any guards. Okay, hold on. Might be a little harder than we uh, initially thought. Can't see shit out here. I mean, look at all this fog. You gotta be kidding me with all this <laughs> I feel like the game did that on purpose. Alright, nothing to see here, everybody. I have no idea where anyone is right now. But they are all around the map from what it looks like. This fog could actually be a good thing, honestly. It might actually be giving me just as much cover as it is them. It would be uh, kind of hard not to see me, though, with this very cool outfit I have on. <laughs> Bought this outfit in the last part, if you guys missed that. I think it's the first outfit. Ooh, shit! Nope, we're not doing that. Oh, my lord in heaven. How that guy didn't see me, I will have no idea. This game is just, it's had a little bit of everything in it, man. And now we got some stealth going on. I don't know. Do I just sneak past these guys or should I like kill them? I don't I know. Oh, God. You can't be walking here. Get out right now. Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> that obviously didn't go so well. All right. Oh, my Lord. I don't know. Should I kill these guys? I have no idea. How are we going to sneak past all of this, though? All right, let's try this one more time. That guy turned around too fast. I wasn't expecting him to turn around that fast. But this is a massive property, man. Oh, my Lord. I got to get through all of this? You've got to be kidding me. I guess we could use the trees as cover, perhaps. Right, maybe going towards that big building wasn't the uh, wasn't the smart play at first. I gotta be honest. <laughs> Hopefully this time it turns out better. Otherwise, I'm afraid they're gonna start shooting. What in the world is this thing? Is this like a hot tub? Okay, that is weird. There's the gazebo he's talking about. We got guys all over this place. If you're uh, if you're new to the channel, I am not very good at stealth. I gotta be honest. I'm gonna wait for this guy to kind of turn around. If he ever does, that would be nice, brother. You gotta turn around. I wish I had like a, a rock to throw as a distraction. There he goes. My lord, bro, this lady is far as hell away. Alright, nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Just a man trying to uh, cultivate some love, you know? <laughs> That's all I'm doing. On the bright side, though, the greys are uh, supposedly 
pretty rich, so hopefully there's a uh, very nice payday coming for me after this. I'm confused. I thought that was a gazebo back there, but apparently that's not the right one. Hold on, there's somebody over here. I don't see him though. Oh, he's right there. How in the world does it expect me to sneak past that guy? I don't know if we picked the right uh, right path, honestly. <laughs> this is a lot of open space out here. Maybe she's going to be in here. Possibly. I'm not going to have to sneak out of this place, too, am I? Okay, I think we made it. Oh, my goodness. That was intense. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm. it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Well, at least she was nice. She was a uh, pleasant to talk to, at least. Leave the area without being seen. Oh, my lord in heaven. You've got to be kidding me. I guess we could probably just go the same exact way. I remember there was a guy over here. Bro, the whole map is red right now. How? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so sketch. Guess we just go the same way we came in, because that was kind of the uh, the best route to go on. We got a guy right there. Oh my lord, that's the gazebo guy. How many gazebos do this family have in their uh, on their property? That's creepy in of itself, you know. hide behind one of these trees all right we might actually be good here i think we might actually be good here boys <laughs> oh my goodness that is a miracle after that first time, I thought for sure I was going to be screwed. At least the first time that guy dis didn't, like, just start shooting at me, you know? That would have been bad. Yep. All right, time to go, buddy. Somehow we've turned into some kind of uh, messenger out here. <laughs> All right, mission complete. We only got a bronze for that one. That's not very good, but whatever. You know, we'll take it. Now we got to take this letter back. I feel like I should just take it back, even though it kind of gave me the option to do more missions. I feel like 
why not just take it back right now, you know? <laughs> We're already doing this. But it looks like we have a Dutch mission as well. And then we got another mission somewhere in the uh, the bottom left corner. Oh! Okay, I thought I was definitely going to eat it right there. I have done that so many times during this playthrough. <laughs> it has been a bit much. Let's go. I think I like this place a little more though because we don't have to uh, we don't have to sneak in here, you know. Remember me? I'm working for the Grays now. All right, come on. Thank you, fine gentlemen. All right, let's get off the horse. I just feel like there's really not a lot of space for a horse to get through here, honestly. Where is this little guy at? This little weird fella. This game is so interesting, man, you know? Like, I would not think that I'd be, like, passing love notes between two characters in this game. It is, uh, it is quite strange, but I'm down for it. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything for me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Oh, boy. How did we get tied into this? <laughs> that man gave us $12 for that. You got to be kidding me, bro. I could have been killed, brother. Come on. Come on. 12 bucks is not enough. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Well, this ought to be interesting. <laughs> riding with this guy. Oh, my Lord. I didn't think it could get any worse than riding with Sean or Micah, but this guy Easy, might take the <laughs> he might take the cake, you know? I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman. Not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. Leading me alive. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. <laughs> we know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our calls he's a pure one yes ma'am let live all right we're joining ready. the cause boys we're mothers wise housekeepers and daughters
as we cook the food <laughs> and we fetch the water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. <laughs> very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Arthur Morgan does not do uh, much peaceful protesting. <laughs> He's the type where you disagree with him. He just he just guns you down right there, you know. Now these guys are not too happy with this. <laughs> Specimen, I grant it. He's not wrong. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies, get down! Come on, Doctor Sir! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Oh my God! Shit! Get him! Cause all this trouble! You don't even know what's going on. And gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equals are fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. 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 Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Oh, boy. Here comes the trouble, I can feel it. Hey! What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down, I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Uh, oh, you always were. Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. <laughs> are we about to whoop this guy's ass? Can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. Okay, they're still following us. <laughs> I feel like something's about to go down. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Well, all right then. Lead us there, Bo. Apparently now we work for the Greys, I guess. <laughs> I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Well, that's all we're interested in is the gold, honestly. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. 
But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. <clears throat> I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Better be more than $12. I'll tell you that right now, buddy. Man just wasted my whole day. <laughs> All right, 30 bucks. I'm okay with it. 30 bucks and we caused them or we yeah. joined the march. So I guess it was worth it. You know, why not? That is an interesting character, though, and the deeper we dive into these Greys and Braithwaites, it becomes a little more and more interesting. Now, I have something on the map here. What in the world is this mission? I don't think I've seen these letters before. Molly O'Shea. All right. We'll go back to the camp. We'll kind of see what Molly O'Shea wants. I want to save the Dutch mission for a little later. I feel like the Dutch missions are probably the bigger missions within the game since he's like the gang leader so we'll go ahead and save those for a little bit later on <laughs> you know now i'm kind of invested though in this Bo and penelope story i want to see how this thing's gonna end i can't imagine it'll end well for Bo, but hopefully penelope's all right she was actually very nice to us bo has been nice too but you know he is a little weird <laughs> hey there mister I love just saying hi to random people riding their horses. Wait a minute. What is this? Because we are here today for a very special occasion. It is important that we reestablish sanity and supremacy before. What in the world is going on here? Our numbers are waning. Thanks to the fools in Congress uh, and their ludicrous ideas. Uh, but today, we grow one yeah, more yeah, yeah, yeah. as we yeah, anoint yeah. a new brother oh, yeah. into you our it. sacred cult. Shoot. If you're gonna watch, keep it quiet. Yeah. Please, yeah. three ones, talk. Step yeah. forward and Is this what I think it is? Do you choose? To accept the light? Oh boy. Yes, sir. Can I not shoot these guys? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Oh my lord, they got guns too? Of course they do. Oh yeah, boys. You know what we had to do. If this is what I think it was, we are definitely getting into this. Oh my lord, bro, my health core. Hold on a minute. There we go, baby. Get some of that, boys. All right, I would say that they uh, they deserve that. All right, we got a witness over here, too. Hold on. We got to get up out of here. Where's my horse at? Nope, this is not my horse. I do not want this horse. Nope. Where's my horse? There we go. All right, we got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, my goodness, boys. We are out. Of all the things I thought I could run into in this game, that was, uh, that was pretty shocking. But I am glad we took care of them. Oh, man, I missed it. It said something about my horse's health will refill slower. I didn't get to see it, though. Oh, I did not realize that was this close to camp. That is probably... That is probably not good. Oh, my goodness. That is not good at all, actually. <laughs> all right, here we are. We made it back to camp, at least. Relax, Sean. You're not going to do nothing. <laughs> All right, let's see what this lady needs. Molly, how can I be of service to you today, Molly? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. 
I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. Oh, what boy. You want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it as long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. <laughs> it's called Charles, alcoholism. Have I ever lied to you? <laughs> I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a <laughs> sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Oh, uncle. Well, come on, this guy cracks me up, bastards. honestly. <laughs> Whoa. All right, hold on a minute. Do we have anything else that we can kind of eat here? Because uh, I need a little something. While you boys been off fishing, playing lawman, or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business, <laughs> finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson? That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. Ugh. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Yeah, hold! Okay, hold up here. Okay, equip the bandana. Cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. <laughs> Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die. Bear! See, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> oh, here we go, baby. All right, there better be a good payday out of this. I swear to goodness, Uncle. <laughs> Uncle just wants more money to go buy alcohol. That's all he cares about. Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. This so guy again, huh? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. All right, we got Charles is back here. Rob the wagon. <laughs> of course, it would be Cornwall's guy, you know? Why not? Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I say something! Oh, uh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, it can never just go smoothly, you know? Of course, we got these problems right now. Hold R3 to look behind you at the pursuers, okay. Are we just gonna run from these guys or are we gonna have to shoot them? Oh 
Well, at least Arthur said there was nearly a thousand there, so that's pretty good. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, bro. They are getting close. Why are we not shooting back? Uh, where the hell are we going? Get out of here! What kind of dumb questions? Shoot those back. Dig in, boys. Come on. Y'all made a big mistake. All right. Hold on a minute. Goodbye to you, sir. <laughs> Thanks for playing, buddy. Camp. Oh my good uncle is an idiot. Quick. Easy. <laughs> Go back to camp while they're following us. All right. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh get some rest. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Now shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I hate it. Now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Oh, boy. Yep, this is definitely not going to end well. Kind of. You didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir... <clears throat> Yeah, I don't see an easy way out of this, honestly. <laughs> We're going to have to shoot these guys. Unless they don't see us. I mean, hopefully they don't. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. If you head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not, but I did it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm starting to think maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Whatever. Well, it is what it is now, boys. We're in it. Oh, come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me with that. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Hold on a minute. Look at that, baby. We are too good at this. I mean, who would like getting robbed, honestly? There's a goddamn horde of them on the Out of the way, Bill. Okay, hold on a minute. We need to take some chewing tobacco. I feel like this gun could definitely be a bit better. Oh my goodness, bro. That was not smooth at all. 
So I feel like when your dead eye gets really low, it like, I don't know, it kind of sways a little bit. <laughs> Man, we got more on this side dude you've got to be kidding me with this what are you guys even doing let me get in there how about we stop robbing cornwall for a while Not... we will robbing cornwall all right we got more on this side Shit. oh my goodness bro this is not good just stand your ground boys stand your ground Bro, where did that even come from? There we go, nice. Oh, now they're burning the place down? Boys, we're gonna have to get out of here pretty soon. Hold on, what other gun do I have? I don't know if I like that gun very much. There we go, this one's way better. <laughs> Let's go, baby. All right, nice. Bill's getting us away out of here. Let's go, baby. Yo, how many of these men are there? This is not going well right now. Some freeze on my part. We're just going to escape in the Come woods. On. All right, we need to take some more of this, Where get some dead eye back for now. Yo, this is crazy right now. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. Of course he wants me to go with him. I'm going to have to protect this guy. actually have the same question you see anything not yet oh that did not go as planned oh boy oh, good job uncle uh oh clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us guess we should go give them a hand <laughs> Come on, where are Charles and Bill at? Don't worry, boys, I got you. Oh my goodness, this shotgun is amazing. <laughs> All right, yo, we are dangerously in the open here. Hold on a minute. All right, I gotta get to my items. Okay, yep, we need... Hold on, we need that. Give me some of that real quick, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo! We all still alive? Yeah. Just about. Yeah, I'll do what you Barely. Did. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quonk. Run, quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Oh, my Lord. We got $112 out of it, though, so I guess in some ways it was kind of worth it. Where's my horse at? Okay, fella. All right, let's see. Where is camp at exactly? I need to go back to the camp. Place a little waypoint over there. I'm going to head back to the camp because I'm kind of, like, out of food and my health... Actually, no, my health kind of regenerated a little bit, but I do need to get some sleep to restore my dead eye because it is uh, it is bad right now. Ah, can't be now come on. 
Yo, that was insane. I knew if Uncle was involved, it was not going to be good. And of course, of all people, it just had to be Cornwall, you know? <laughs> oh, man, that is not good at all. Now we're going to have that guy on our backs once again. And he is the whole reason why we had to get out of Valentine. So I don't expect things from here are going to be going very smoothly, to be honest. And Dutch... Dutch is probably not going to be happy about anything that just happened. But it is what it is, I guess. You know, what can you do now? <laughs> we got some smoke over here. Hold on. What is this? Please don't tell me it's more Lemoyne Raiders. Hey, just a nice little... Oh, okay. He does not want to talk. Never mind. I'm leaving. I thought it was going to be like a nice little conversation I could have with that guy, but apparently not. <laughs> Come on, horse. Man, my horse needs to eat something, too. I might need to make a stop at the general store here soon to get some more food and some more, like, horse food as well. My horse is a champ, though. I mean, it's gotten shot this part and everything, so. It's me. Damn, Charles, that was fast. Charles was just with us. Now he's already on the lookout for the camp. The man of many talents right there, you know? <laughs> All right, hop off our horse a little bit. Hold on, I got to run over here to get this waypoint off here. There we go. Now what I got to do here, I got to see if this stew is ready. I need to eat something. Is that Micah over there? I think that is Micah. <laughs> Micah's officially back at camp, huh? Since you got back. Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. You know. <laughs> Can we play poker with uh with Micah? Who's up for playing poker? Ah, but of course. I haven't played poker with the guys at the camp yet, so let's see. This should be interesting. Who in the world is that guy? Does anybody recognize that guy? Who is that guy? <laughs> He's like in his pajamas too. That's amazing. All right, let's see what we have. Uh, not terrible, but also not great. Okay, then. Yes. There we go. I guess it was good. I'll take it, you know? Let's see if you can stay awake for this, Reverend. I'm fine, Mr. Morgan, though I could beat you with my eyes closed. We'll oh, I highly doubt that. that. Hold on, what do we have here? Ooh. Ooh. Not bad. Nope, I'm calling that. A small start. Yeah, we have two aces. I feel like that's gotta be like a good hand. I don't really know how to play poker, but uh, I'm gonna okay. go in for it. Come on, be an ace in there. Be an ace in there. Oh my lord, you've gotta be kidding me. Uh, this will do. Keep those purse strings tight, do you? Uh, go. Oh, this is not good, but I do Check. not want to get out of this game. Check. Oh, Isa. Check. I'm gonna stay in it till the no. end, you know. Here you go. Hmm. That's it, is it? Read and weep. Oh, well, I got nothing. Little bit of all right. Yeah, well, we were uh, bluffing, boys. All right. Happy day. <laughs> I am not knowledgeable enough this at poker to even be doing life. this. A game of cards, a view of the water, 
I hear you. That is actually kind of nice. Look at that. What a nice plot to uh, play some cards, you know? Yes, Reverend wasn't lying. It's worth it for a few percent. That is a calculated risk. Oh, man, I got nothing again. Yes, okay. I will check. Mm, check. That's all I'm going for right now. I'll call it. Why not? You know? <laughs> all right. It's enough. I wonder if they pick up on when you like bluffing and stuff. If they can like kind of figure that stuff out. I don't know. Oh man, that's nothing. I shall check. Um, this last one's got to be a good one. Oh boy, yep, we are out. We're out of this. The moment of truth. What do you say to that? Recoverable. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. I love how they're like both in their pajamas. That's nice. Forgive me. All right, let's see. This stew better be ready. Otherwise, I'm going to be so mad. Oh my goodness, is it not ready? It might not be ready. Oh boy. Oh, actually, yes, it is. Nice. It better be, man. After we brought that massive buck, you know, we at least got to have a bite to eat. <laughs> we got to get a little something out of that. Sounds like somebody's playing some music over here, too. Hold on a minute. Is that Pearson? Oh, look at this guy. I have no idea what that instrument's called. Oh, excuse me, Micah. You just walk right through me, brother? Kidding me right now, brother? <laughs> oh, man. All right, but that actually, uh, that feels like a perfect stopping point to this part, man. This game gets crazier and crazier the more that we kind of get into it it is um it has been an awesome ride so far man i hope you guys have enjoyed the playthrough if you guys like the video definitely hop down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button leave a comment you know what you gotta do man help out the uh the algorithm a little bit but i'm gonna go ahead and get some sleep and on the next part i have no idea what we're gonna be doing but at least my dead eye will be completely restored but uh as always guys until next time stay safe out there